Look at this. Where are the Halion videos, huh, YouTube? Where are the Halion videos? What's going on here? Hello? There you are. I had to scroll down a little bit. Watch this move speed now. I bet it's good. <laughs> I'll take it. What? I know, light mode, right? Go, if you, I'm going to be pausing a lot to explain things because a seated, uh, a seated speed run in Hades is very peculiar. It's very strange. I will, I will try to explain the seed system. If you want to watch this unpaused, simply go, go to Vareem's channel. There'll be a link in the description below to Vareem's video. I highly suggest you hop over there, say hi, comment, like, subscribe to Vareem who has some amazing speed runs, not just from Hades, but other beautiful games like Death Store. Highly recommend. Another shout out to the person who actually made the route, or routed it out, I should say, pseudonym. Longtime friend also, pseudonym. Shout out to them for actually making the route in Vareem for, uh, for performing the route, as you can say. And they have other shout outs in the comments below, uh, of course. Pseudo's a cool person, that's true. All right. So first, I kind of gotta, I gotta premise this and explain what a seed run in, in Hades is, at least a little bit. Hades does have a seed system. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Hellblazer! Okay, so what's a seed? Uh, what is a seed in Hades? So when you start a run in Hades, there is a seed, but your actions change what happens to the seed as you play the run. And it's very specific. When the doors unlock in a chamber, most of the, not the most, some of the things you do will alter the seed and will change what happens in the next room, basically. Does that make any sense? It's not like, I think like in Slay the Spire, you start with a seed and you know what every single room has. Is if that, if that makes sense. Like, and your what you choose to do doesn't really change what happens in the seed for the most part, I believe. Maybe a little bit, but for the most part, I think like the same things still happen and stuff. You know what I mean? Um... So, in Hades, you have to be very careful with what you do. And if you want to maintain a seed, then you need to do very extremely specific actions. So what Pseudonym, the person who routed this, had to do, they had the trial and error to set up the best possible path for speed and build. So that means all the free rooms, all the best boons and hammers, etc. And make sure that they got those at every instance. All right, with that, I think we can start the run, and you're gonna see, and I'm gonna explain it as we go, all right? All right, let's check out Vareem. Doesn't have to show a death because it's seated anyway. So this is with Eris Rail. Is that the max volume? It's max, chat. Let me turn it up. It's max maxed. All right, so we start with Rocket Bomb. So you see that summon unavailable right there? That's actually seed manipulation. By hitting, by hitting, hold on, by hitting the summon button and triggering a dialogue line, that, that changes the seed. It changes the seed. Oh, let me move chat. Uh, what Vareem has to do is actually perform very, he has it mapped out. You can actually see his notes right here too. He has it mapped out so that he needs to do a, a certain things in every single chamber. And you're going to see that. All right, so he's probably gonna get epic attack. Yep. He blew up that gold pot before the door's unlocked. No manipulation there. Also, what they had to think about with this is what enemies show up. Some manipulation there, because he threw out a cast and hit the summon button to alter what chaos is gonna do. Special damage plus 97%, another summon. Look at all the megs being thrown out here. Because I think the boss damage ends up nothing, so it's the beginning of the run is where you'd lose time. That's insane. Storm Lightning setting up for the legendary. Now the well stuff gets funky. This is going to get really weird. <laughs> Got two Light of Ixians right away. Because when you open a well and you close it, it resets the RNG. Hyper Sprint, epic, done. Probably going to get the special here. All right, here we go. Want to read the notes? You can mostly read it. 
You can watch that video to read the notes yourself. Good luck trying to read all that, by the way. That was a really good skip on the, uh... On the sneak there, too, I think, by the way. That was a very quick kill. 72%. Boom. Into Boldy already. That's two Chaos Gates. Chaos Gates into Boldy. All right, so you have to do something here. You have to kill all the ghosts. Why do you have to kill all the ghosts? Because... <laughs> The ghosts are lousy with RNG, and they'll mess everything up. So before the go the door unlocks, watch this. So opening the codex, this is RNG manipulation right here. Watch this. This shit is so cool. Not here. Gifting Boldy. 10% move speed from Boldy right there. <laughs> he manipped getting 10% move speed from Boldy using the codex right there, and then did a bunch of stuff after that still. All right, survival room since it's in-game time here. Because the ultimate goal, we have hyper sprint. So the ultimate goal is gonna be to get rush delivery for massive damage, right? If it isn't 10%, does he reset? It's probably like semi-guaranteed. Flipping through the codex increments the RNG seed like a bunch. So it opens up a lot of avenues to really be able to get whatever you want, but it's just so much trial and error because you got to test every single one as far as I know. 10% is probably the max possible. I don't know if he meant to lose that Death Defiance or not. I'm not sure. He probably has a scenario for it. I could check out the notes. Try baiting enemies to one side and then end of the room to avoid the bombs. If you get hit by the bombs after the encounter is over, then it's... then it ruins the run. That's why he baits them all over there, I think. I think it ruins the run. So he's probably checking his notes here, because this these shop menus are really elaborate. More chaos. Third chaos of the game. Cast damage there, which is odd. I gotta say. I'm kind of surprised by that. Into Poseidon, Fountain Room, of course. So we saw Boldy, Fountain, and three Chaos Gates. 38 seconds on the in-game timer in the top right. And they're splitting Bolt at the end of Tartarus. And the build is like 99... Well, not 99% done. It is mostly done. There, I think he does a skip on Meg here, but I'm not positive. Watch Meg's health. Watch it now. No? Okay, never mind. Hell yeah. I think he got a big crit at the end That's there. A gold. And a gold Tartarus. Now you get to hear Vareem's beautiful voice. He doesn't talk much during the video. Gold Tartarus. And now the Chaos Boons oh, really are starting good? to tick in. So the special damage is going to start multiplying like insane amounts. Like absolutely bonkers amounts of damage. All right, more codex manipulation and stuff. So one mistake here, like if he hits the wrong button in the codex and stuff, ruins the entire run. It's over. He'll fall off the path and he won't know what'll happen after this chamber, for instance. It's not just like, oh, that's slightly bad. It's like, the, you have to reset the whole run. So he's he put on Charon's keepsake here. He put on Charon's keepsake. This is about where I stopped watching because I didn't want to ruin it. He triggers a voice line here to trigger the RNG seed, I think. And he's doing it again. It has to do with the voice lines now. I'm already full. He's waiting for the voice lines. The faded the faded twat or whatever it is, he got he got more move speed from it. So already he already has plus 20% move speed from the consumables. Does he run the same seed over and over again? Yes. This is incredibly difficult to do. That's why, like, you don't see a lot of people doing it. More chaos. 90% special damage, but that chaos curse doesn't matter because you know what the chambers are. Into Eurydice. Look at how fast it is! This, it would be so hard to play the game with this much speed. I'm not sure why he waits there. Ambrosia hits... Attack and Storm Lightning. Um, if that doesn't get answered in chat, I will answer that after this run. Thanks, War. I appreciate that. Thanatos, because it pauses the timer. Brain power to this right now. Okay. Let's 
game has so much RNG manipulation. This is incredibly hard to do. So there's not much to say while he's fighting Thanatos here. Even like between biomes, like it gets pretty messy and stuff. Because when you think about like the best possible seed, you, you just need like so many things, you know, like so many things. In early beta, it was assumed every run was seeded, so this was almost the only speed run. Yeah, this is like the only way we speed ran the game up until almost 1.0. Well, it we didn't have we didn't have routes this good though. We didn't have routes this good. 100% rush delivery. The routes were nowhere near this good. More move speed. Takes the right door. The routes were terrible. It was hard to watch. Got the mid shop. Fuck. I can't do that. I was too fast there. I had to do two extra summons. Too fast. I had to do two extra summons. It could be. It could have to do with the voice line. He's trying to buffer this probably. I knew there was a quick kill. Oh, I don't think he got it. Well, that's very unfortunate. Uh oh. Ooh, that looks like that cost him basically all the green time he had. Look. Not here. The curse of chaos has Still, if he got it. I knew it's nice to know that it at least exists, you know what I mean? Watch that speed, holy shit. Oh my god. Not yet. So you see a lot of waiting after a menu opens. It could be he's checking notes. Sometimes it is because you have to wait for a voice line to finish before you do something. Holy shit. Learning is a tough fight in no matter how much damage you have. I feel like it's kind of a... It's a very difficult, difficult fight to perform, I think. <laughs> Oh my god. He's getting he's keeping up the buff from Eris. The attack does so much on its own too. Wow. Look at that split. For not having high confidence, that was a hell of a learning fight. <laughs> he didn't have high confidence. Oh, because his health was too low. His health was too low. One shot? Well he has like three chaos boons that increase his special damage already it's a, it's out of the park you don't even need it he doesn't even have cluster rockets yet but you know that's gonna happen dun, 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 dun. all right more manipulation here this manipulation probably sets up for what happens I'm on my own. what is being offered in the well of Charon in between biomes because that's important because he's probably going to get a shitload of uh, Chaos Gates. There's one. Waiting for the voice line. Has to trigger an extra voice line. What do I get? He bought a Faded. Got another Chaos Gate. Rolled it. Got 10% more move speed. What now though? Okay. Oh, there's another Fateful Twist. Another move speed. And he sells Storm Lightning. Oh, because he needs the money. He was out of money. Holy shit. Hey, nice look out. Thanks for the 15 months. Remember back when we had the learning skip? That was a good time. That was funny when we found that. Watch this move speed now. I bet it's good. He didn't even dash. In the name of Hades. Oh my god. 45% special speed. Not now. That was a hammer, right? Minute 35 on the in-game timer. Holy shit. Cluster bomb. Done. Didn't even think about it. Another? No way. Do you buy it? Do you need it? So he buys the extra special damage. I don't know what you're needed for now, but another light of Ixion. He's out of rolls though. There's so much RNG manipulation I can't even begin to like talk about that he's doing. Like at every moment. 90%? The dash percent doesn't matter, right? Into Patty. So we've had one we've had one combat chamber in Elysium.
Why did he do that? He brought himself down to 50% health. Chaos Gate HP Minip. Hey, Musaeus. It's, I, at first, I was guessing it had something to do with high confidence on or off, but yeah. Voice line triggers above a certain threshold. Oh, so he's trying to skip a voice line. Ooh. Does the game cap the special damage? I don't know, but I doubt it. I've never seen a cap. Takes jerky. Okay, okay, okay. So he had to be below a certain amount. Patty probably says something like, looks like you don't need my help. <laughs> Trying a new butterfly ball strat here as well. So, you know. Just skipping Meg, I guess. How many Meg? So he wasted a lot of Megs in Tartarus. Lightning Rod! Oh my god. The thing is, though, like, I don't think you need the extra damage from Boiling Blood or whatever. 90% Special damage again. Holy shit. So he's had two combat chambers in Elysium. One with full, full of witches, one with the butterfly boss. And it's over. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright, I've done no heroes practice in quite some time, so let's see how it goes. How do heroes look like this? With this? As fast as possible. Okay. take it what hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on no 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 you can't just do that a, he just he just it. walked by them as as possible. Ah! We'll take it you don't even get to see the damage numbers holy shit that was so master masterfully timed too. How did that happen? He just has so what's happening now is he just has he has rocket bomb plus cluster rockets on the special with Artemis there. And then he probably has plus ten thousand percent special damage from chaos. And special and chaos damage is multiplicative. So it's it just it just skyrockets. Yeah, he's got he's just got insane amounts. He doesn't need it. Yeah, rush delivery is massive too. Jerky? Jerky only hits the attack, right? Unless there's a hidden thing I don't know about. I was kind of curious why it takes the jerky. Hey Vor! Chaos isn't multiplicative, but the rush delivery move speed damage is. Welcome Vareem. Hey hey Vareem. Wait, what did we just buy? Do you even buy the special damage? You do. You monster. Tell Sudo I said that they're a monster too. So close. Yeah, the move speed just gets out of control. I want to see like the damage numbers, but the problem is I don't know if we ever will now because everything gets capped at this point. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> now Vord DM'd me and he said and he said wait there's something going on in this chamber where he said the doors unlock too slowly and he gets to them too fast I didn't totally understand what he meant but I think I might now he's going to the shop Forty percent greater haste, and the doors have barely unlocked. And it's be determined that that's worth it. Holy shit! Well, I guess if you gotta wait for the doors to unlock anyway, so the pause buffering is there, um, to make sure. I mean, with so much speed, you need to like pause buffer a lot. I'm sure the memes are always worth it. <laughs> Forty nine ninety five crit. It's impossible to control. Yeah, I bet for. Oh my god. That is definitely the best mini boss. 
Holy shit. Hi, Lonnie. Look at the damage number on Zeus alone. Like, the Zeus numbers are actually outrageous. No, I can't even show you. So we finally get Splash Dash in the final chamber. Going into Hades, 2.27 on the clock. What's crazy is, it's only taken him 15 minutes to do this in real time. That's kind of crazy, considering how hard this was, because I tried to do it a little bit. Only a touch, though, and it sucked, and it right. took me forever. Here we go. So Vor is going into it almost six seconds ahead. I assume that a lot can go wrong in Hades. I don't know if you can manipulate whether Hades does his uh, teleport or not. Pause buffer the Hades fight. One sad part is like it might be more optimal to do that, but no. Oh, no you don't. holy shit! He got him before the darkness kicked in. <laughs> Multiple hits. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. Oh. 248. Oh my god. Oh, I hope you... Oh, Vor, I hope you show the uh, show everything. That's insane. You didn't have to do it. Well, Whoa, you had to do damn. something. But it must be so scary. Think about how scary it is to fight. Because he has to hit the special button at the exact moment that Hades comes out of invulnerability. And if you are a frame too early, then you lose out seconds. If you're a frame too late, you lose out frames, but yeah. Ugh. I wonder if pause buffering is just like the safe way of doing it. Look at all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 80% movement speed plus greater haste. That's 120% plus hyper sprint. 200 and wait what'd i say 280 percent plus boldy 290 percent i'm gonna say they're multiplicative please explain each one multiplies it what do you mean so it's a lot more than 80 percent what it's somewhere around 1500 percent <sighs> and that's across all damage too because rush delivery is all damage because it's the dash, it's the attack, it's the special. Woo! Totally washed. The Beowulf run was insane. He had the world record before with a Beowulf routed run. Oh, man. You lose fractions of a second in every chamber on the exits. Yeah, that's true. Because it, because you just have to mash the button to exit. You time it because it's faster, actually, which is scary. Because if you interact with the door too early, you can get a voice line and go off route. Oh my god! That's right! Because I forget what Zag says, but Zag says something if you try to leave too early. Or something like that. So Voreem can't even mash the button to try to exit on the first frame or anything. Holy shit, you have to time it. Oh my god. Well, you do have to do manipulations a lot, like the summons and everything ahead of time anyway. So that might kind of clear you up some time, too. Congrats again, Vareem. And to the community, because I know it takes a village, right? To do something like this. A lot of work from a lot of different people. People that made the tools, the people that made the route, and the people that performed it. Woo! Watch it, chat. Give it a like. Leave a comment, please. There it is. It's in chat now. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the description. Be kind. Be beautiful. Don't be like this person. I don't know if they're kidding, but yeah. <laughs> Pardon me, could I have a meowment of your time, YouTube? It's me, Grandpa, Halion's beloved kitty cat wonder. If you love this hysterical content, pitter patter your way over to twitch.tv forward slash Halion, where we stream every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. I loaf you. Nyah.